Hello loves, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aries. I'm, I'm, the card, of course, when you see Seven of Swords, you think of someone lying, cheating, scheming, scamming. Um, it's some type of backstabbing and betrayal, but for some reason, I'm also getting here plotting and planning. Um, not so much in a negative way for some. I feel that um, there's a situation some people could be going through where you could be dealing with a person who is... They're sort of playing both sides, to be honest. They're playing along to get along right now. Um, with the Justice card here, there could be a legal situation. There could be a separation or even a divorce. Um, or just something here where someone is in some type of legally binding contract with another person. It feels like someone is, like I said, playing along to get along. Like someone, what they're doing with you, it is perhaps deceptive, but they actually have their own reasoning behind this. Um, that's just for some of you. The Ace of Wands is here. So the Ace of Wands and the Justice card. So like I said, it's like someone is trying to, I feel, plan plot and strategize how to have a passionate beginning but they currently are in a situation and they're trying to be strategic in their planning all right so let's see what's going on oh the empress <laughs> oh my god see i knew it you know i feel like someone sees you as the one. Oh my gosh look at how beautiful that is the, and the nine of cups like someone and it's late you guys it's like almost three o'clock in the morning someone is really possibly up thinking about you um uh, i'll be honest what i'm here someone could have spent their holiday <laughs> with somebody else but they were thinking about you yeah the high priestess with the nine of cups here someone sees you as everything but they have a person that's kind of hovering over their shoulder watching their every move so someone definitely could live in the house with someone someone Okay, let me let me tell you what I'm getting here. Someone is currently in um, a marriage or relationship or, you know, a long-term relationship with someone. I do feel like these people live in the house, but again, I'm getting play along to get along. Someone right now definitely could be in a relationship with the person that they work with, okay? But this person has crossed paths with you. Um, I just heard you were the red pill in the matrix. That's what I just heard. You you were the red pill that this person encountered in the matrix. But this person definitely, they are somewhere else. I'm hearing the word placeholder. This person is somewhere else right now and they really don't want to be there. When I show you what's at the bottom, of, look at this, at the bottom of the deck, Ten of Swords. So someone could be considering a divorce right now. Um, d Definitely could be a situation where someone, with the Empress here also, this could be a wife, okay? Or someone here could be in a relationship with, with someone and they're there because of children. Someone could be expecting a child right now. Or someone really could be thinking a lot about them having children with you. I'm, I'm picking up a masculine right now, you guys, who is doing a lot of reflecting and fantasizing. Okay? This person sees you as like their sweet escape. This person has, they really, really like the way that you care for yourself. I feel that some of you are in this energy where you're very high vibing. Um, with the high priestess, the nine of cups, and the empress, someone out here that this message is resonating with, like you're really, really taking your self care to the next level. And this person, they really, really, I'm hearing they adore that about you. They really respect that about you. The fact that you take care of yourself. Some of you, you're very, very creative. Okay, you could be on your self love spiritual journey. You're taking care of yourself. Um, some of you, I'm hearing this person, they never heard of someone taking a spiritual bath until they met you. You may have asked this person if they wanted to take a spiritual bath before. It's just something that you do that this person, they really, really like. It. And it has a lot to do with your, like your spiritual hygiene or just your personal hygiene. This person, they find you very, very feminine. They like how you care for yourself. They see you as being, um like a, a a husband or why they see you as as a life partner for sure this person is is very very in tune with you or they know that you're extremely in tune with them so for some of you with the empress and the high priestess being here um you could definitely be very intuitive psychic you could be a, an empath but you're very nurturing you're very in tune with this person 
Now, again, the Four of Pentacles is here. Here's the Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles with the Nine of Wands. So someone here is in an unhappy type of marriage, commitment, relationship of some sort here. This person is trying to stay with the person because they have they have a lot invested. They could have children, okay? Um, I think that this person, there's the situation with the the kids and everything is successful, but it, it could be like a loveless type of relationship. But however, it's like whoever I'm picking up on, someone here is in a relationship and it is a good partnership. It's a good partnership. They're staying together because they have children. Like I said, they've invested a lot. These two people, they can make great money together. But someone here is fully aware of the fact that there is some type of third party interference. Now, when the divine feminine energy I'm picking up on here to be an Empress, Nine of Cups, and the High Priestess, I do not feel like this is someone, if I'm talking to the divine feminine, I don't feel like you're sleeping with this person. I don't feel like you have... Um, a lot invested in this situation. I feel like someone is very drawn to you because you're not flipping out about them because you have so much respect for yourself. It's almost like this person knows that you are forbidden. However, there is a person who I feel is infatuated with you. The energy to me is a little bit questionable because in this type of situation, you can't go to a high priestess empress because you're just in an unhappy relationship. Um, I'm trying to figure out with this person, like, with them having such strong feelings for you, this type of respect that they they claim to have for you, like, how exactly are they planning to approach you? Because this seems like someone who is married or they're playing, they're playing house with someone for sure. The Six of Wands, the Emperor. Yeah, this is someone here who is successful. Like I said, their connection with someone else, their partnership it is very um, successful. I, I feel like this is two people who they have some type of system or operation, a business or something. It's lucrative. It's successful. It's sort of like that. If it's not broken, then don't fix it. But I'm not seeing any love out here. I'm seeing these two people could be in like an open relationship or I feel like they know that the two of them both step out and cheat from time to time. The death card is here. I'm still hearing you're the red pill that they met in the matrix. So this, this masculine here may be going through some type of transformation, but there is a choice. The lovers here, there is a choice. This person may want to reach out to you and, and, and express, this could be someone from your past or it's someone that you're dealing with now, but this is a situation that just hasn't been able to get off the ground because the, again, the divine feminine here, or divine masculine is not going to play second best. You're not you're not going to share your energy with anyone who is sharing their energy with another person. Your your energy is too big, it's too strong, it's too mighty. You cannot share your energy with this person, but this person they they're quite infatuated with you, but they have to make a choice. This person doesn't want to end this other situation because of finances, family, kids, and what they have invested financially. However, they want to run to you. I'm hearing Whitney Houston run to you. Um, they would like to fight for the connection, but this person is very blocked. So, Spirit, what's happening here? I want to run to you. Six of Pentacles, Four of Cups. This person is very discontent and bored wherever they are. I think this person, they're thinking a lot right now about moving out. This person is so infatuated with you at this point and mesmerized and, and just constantly wondering and fantasizing about what life would be like with you. But to me, it's still, I can't tell it. To me, it feels a little codependent. Um... To, you know, go from one situation to another. This is uh, six of pentacles, four of cups. Yeah, to me, this is like the, the energy of a person here who they're discontent and bored. They don't like where they are. They're putting on a facade. They're doing things for the community. 
so it's like when they come to you with the six of pentacles it's imbalanced but this person is it looks like considering moving away or they have a person that wants to move away you have the judgment eight of pentacles the three of swords So once you hold me in your arms and keep me safe from harm, a knight of swords. This is some type of impulsive action that's being taken here where someone is manifesting a new beginning. Seven of wands here and the star. Listen, someone here is getting the strength to fight for a connection here. It's real. Like I, someone here is, is going to come in. Like I said, this could be someone from your past or it could be someone that, you know, you've met and it was very casual, but something is shifting the page of wands and the wheel is here. This is new energy. It's someone being, I'm hearing very optimistic and passionate about a new beginning. Someone is tired of playing along to get along. They're tired of doing that. Yeah, the lovers. And I feel like this person has chosen you. You don't you don't come out as the, the Empress and the High Priestess and the Nine and the Nine of Cups. This is someone here who is literally in another situation because of finances, family, and kids. They're putting the situation to end because you're the red pill in the matrix. Like this person is, is realizing now that they want to be on this spiritual path with you. Some of you, this could have been almost like love at first sight. Eight of Swords, yeah. Someone here, for a long time, they were confused. They were stuck. Or you've been confused. But this is this person loves you. And for many of you, this could be new love. I'm definitely picking up somewhat of like a casual type of connection. And you may have run across this person and, you know, it could have been inconsistent and so you just left it alone but the way that you have respected yourself has this person completely mesmerized with you i feel like this person is going through a lot in their lives right now also and they do they want to run to you it's something about your nurturing energy but you do have to be careful because to me this does come off as like codependency i'm not getting like a player type of energy where someone just wants to use and abuse you, but someone here, they are in need of some type of healing and they want to run to you for their healing. Five of Cups. Some kind of disappointment here. Queen of Cups. This person has disappointed you. This person has disappointed you with their lack of an offer, I feel. I think that you were very disappointed to have crossed past with this person and there was some type of connection here but this person they didn't offer you a commitment this person didn't offer you a commitment because they're already in something where they are committed they may not be in love but they're committed and it's more so like i said because of family and finances but I think that you made it clear to this person that you're currently manifesting a long-term, stable, committed relationship. You're you're being intentional about your love life. And if you haven't communicated this, you need to. I think that to be the empress here in this divine feminine or masculine energy, whomever I'm talking to, you're very clear about what you want. You're very clear about what you want to manifest here. And if someone isn't coming to you with the truth and communicating that they also want marriage, commitment, and to celebrate in a union with you, then you're quick to ghost these types of situations. You're just not willing to even engage in a situation with someone who doesn't want marriage, family, commitment, or the things that you want. Yeah, the King of Pentacles is here. So somebody... Wow. King of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords. So this person right now is most likely like the breadwinner where they are. This is someone here who has worked very hard for their family. But they could be choosing to divorce someone.
and here's the king of cups so you you're coming out sort of in this energy of the queen of cups the empress the high priestess someone here is 100 percent like a psychic intuitive like some type of spiritualist or something like that this is a lot of water energy a lot of really really feminine energy here so you could you could possibly feel the connection with this person but again you're not trying to control this but this person is coming out as your match the king of cups and the ten of pentacles so this is someone here who truly truly loves you and here's the ace of wands and the three of wands you can expect for this person to come in and fight for this connection they're keeping a very close eye on you absolutely so in another connection this person they're the emperor okay I, I do feel like this person is successful i do feel like they have invested a lot and they're just they're with someone else they're with a the placeholder okay but you're their true match 100 percent. i think a lot of you know that as well that this person was in some type of karmic energy with the devil here and the knight of wands sort of in and out or this is what you are afraid of that if you give this person a chance they're going to be very toxic with you i don't think that your situation and this person's situation can be compared at all i don't i don't think that what you may assume this person is doing with another person is what they will ever do with you It's not the same. With you, this person wants to grow, but if this person's in a situation, I feel like you should consider, you should continue to respect yourself and not be involved in a third party because you know what you want. This person also knows what you want. And it looks like someone here is becoming afraid of losing you to the point that they may actually choose to leave someone behind, divorce someone. This person could leave an entire family behind. To pursue a life and a family with you. Yeah, two of pentacles. This person has a lot going on though. They're juggling a lot. They're trying to juggle life, money, family, kids. As well as now this love that they have for you. <laughs> this person, the way that this person studies you, it's like a part-time job. They study you like religiously. So what's the outcome here? Spirit, what's going to happen? It's like if you'll have this person, they'll do anything. I feel like this person is at a point now where they're willing to do anything to be with you. Even if that means leaving someone behind. Now, like I said, take it how it resonates because everyone is on a different timeline. For some of you, this is someone from your past. For some of you, this is someone... That, you know, they could be from your past. That are just that someone you're casually dealing with right now. Okay. You could be keeping it strictly, you know, platonic with this person. Because, you know, they have some other situation. Okay. For some of you, this is the energy that's going to come towards you. Cutting the deck here is the Emperor and the Ace of Cups. Like I said, there's a masculine here who truly, truly loves you. I mean, no matter how powerful... Um, this person is being the emperor, how successful they are, how structured, disciplined, detached they are. This person is completely in love with you. And, and for some of you, I feel like you have a person, they're trying to keep this on a friendship level. Because again, this person, they have a lot of respect for you. But this person, like they, they cannot help how they feel. This is a brand new emotional experience. You are the red pill in the matrix for this person like this person they're ready to give up being in the matrix in order to go on this spiritual journey with you i think that you are awakening something in this person um spiritually the ace of cups is here this person may want to write you a letter and that's what i'm saying it's like this person they really want to explore this passionate like lifestyle with you for a lot of you like i said again you may be very 
quirky, artsy, crafty, eclectic, or something like that. It's very different from what this person's used to. This person has a very overbearing type of person around them. Even though it seems like it's a loveless relationship, they're with someone that does not want to see them be in love. This person, they haven't experienced love. They've only experienced um, obligation with someone else. But with you, it's like it's a it's a free flowing type of love. And they know that it's real and true because here's the Ace of Swords. They know that it's true. This is true love. But I feel like this person, at some point, they really lost faith in love because they've been in a situation. This is someone here, for some of you, they've been with someone possibly three to ten years. This is a long cycle. This person has built a life with a, a, a placeholder. I don't want to just say karmic, but they had a lot of karmic lessons to learn. And you were the red pill in the matrix. This person discovered you and all they can think about now is like love. Like how would life be with true love? And they actually will want to do things the right way with you. The four of pentacles. Yeah. This person is holding back though because their money has a hold on this person. Okay. Although this seems to be an amazing opportunity it's it's magical and this person is really discontent and bored where they are this person right now is trying to be mindful of how they manage their resources how they go about trying to build this connection this person may be going hot and cold with you okay i feel like this person right now they're this person is still in the process of building something that it's like they've already established something with this other person, but they're in the middle of some other kind of um, project or they're in, in, a pro in the process of doing something right now, still. And I feel like this person's money is tied up, which goes back to what I was hearing before, playing along to get along. Now, for some of you, you have to be very careful because whoever this person is involved with, that person, they do know about you. And they're watching you. They're stalking you. They're monitoring you closely because this masculine, for many of you, this person, who they are at home now, is drastically shifting. I see this person is at home now. And they're trying to, well, I'm literally seeing a person now, like, they're trying to create, like, their own sacred space. This person may be reading more. Um... They may be meditating. This person has heard you speak about some type of practice or seen you do something. It's something about your energy that's very, very peaceful. And this person, yeah, this person is now trying to learn more about the law of attraction and manifestation. This person could like sound bowl therapy or this is something that you're into. I'm just sitting here looking, you know, at this lady here in Indian style and then this man here under this tree, these cups here. But I am i don't know why, but right now I'm really thinking about like sound bowl therapy. This could be something that, you know, this person has seen you doing or you listen to, you know, sound bowl therapy meditations or something like that. You could have shared this with this person and it's like now it's something that they're doing or they may want to go out in nature more. I'm hearing this person may be wanting to connect with their their spirit guides more. They may be asking you questions about things like that or they're trying to find out information on their own. And what's happening is, wow, oh my gosh. <laughs> the six of cups and the four of wands. This person is coming into the awareness that the two of you were perhaps together in a past life. Or they just know for a sure fact that this is possibly like a friendship or a connection here that makes this... Something about your connection with this person makes them feel very nostalgic about like their childhood. This person feels very childlike when they're around you and it makes them dream. It makes them fantasize. It makes them want to plan a life with you because they're like for, with you. They could be I'm hearing forever young. This person does feel guilty about the way that they feel about you. Because this person knows what they have to leave behind in order to be with you. They feel like you're worth it. But um, it's a lot. And I feel like it has a lot, again, to do with the kids and, and their finances. It's certainly not the other person. It's not the other person they're concerned about. 
this person also is concerned with how people will see you. Um, oftentimes in situations like this, you know, when we when a person meets the the true <laughs> love of their life and they've been with a placeholder, a lot of the blame is will be placed on the divine feminine or masculine that wakes this person up because everyone will see this person want to show you a side of them that they didn't show to that other person. And you don't want to be labeled as the home wrecker or anything like that, but there's something here very magnetic about the two of you in this connection. You're a vibrational match for one another. You've inspired this person to want to take action. The Knight of Wands and being more passionate and confident about their life. They want a passionate relationship. Yeah, because they're going through an awakening. And in this awakening here, this person is realizing that they have to sacrifice the life that they know so well, the life that they've cr created, you know, and established in order to actually have the life that they truly want to manifest for themselves. I, I, it just seems like you have opened this person completely up. I'm hearing Lotus Flower Bomb. You just open this person up completely. Or this is someone opening you up. Take it however it resonates. The Magician and the Balance card is here. Yeah, so Sagittarius season here. There's a lot being balanced. A lot is being manifested. Two of Swords here. Falling on top of the Six of Cups. This person that they're scared of this love. Honestly, or you are, you're stuck at a crossroads. This person's like, you know, do I choose a soulmate or a twin flame? Do I choose, you know, a conventional lifestyle that I'm in? Or do I go towards my heart's true desires? This person here is having difficulty right now with trying to actually follow their heart. I feel like at times this person, they act as though nothing is wrong. But when, anytime this person, especially if they can come around you, they're completely just enamored with you like this person they they know that there's a, a huge huge difference between who they are as a person with you versus who they are when they're with someone else the moon wow i feel like your intuition is screaming at you yeah the moon and then the four of swords is here so someone is definitely going into some type of deep prayer and meditation someone could want to um Go on a vacation. Now, depending on where you are in your your journey with this particular person, for some of you, if you travel with this person or you go on a vacation, there could be some really deep discussions about the future. This is really weird to me, though, because this person is presenting themselves to you. <laughs> They're definitely playing like the friend card, the chariot, but this person wants to move forward. This person wants to marry you. Queen of Cups and the Star. This person, they they want to do everything with you. And I think you know this. One of you or both of you are fully aware of this because you have the star here with the Queen of Cups. There's so much, there's a psychic connection between you and this person it's like one of you or both of you just know that there there's challenges being presented in this situation but you just know that this is meant to be and it's going to move forward i don't know when or how but this situation is going to move forward someone may have to confess to you that they've done something that they regret They've made decisions at some point that they regret, especially when it comes to building something long term with the Ten of Pentacles here. This person made decisions based on financial security only. They weren't thinking about love, Five of Pentacles. And now this person is a bit upset, disappointed, 
and even a fray because their ten of pentacles is soon going to turn into the five of pentacles because of who they decided to build their life with. Something here is, is karmic. There's a sacrifice that has to be made here. Something that this person built or created, they're going to have to lose and start over to gain more spiritual strength. Yeah. And the wise counsel is behind it. The hierophant. This person has to start over to gain spiritual strength to be on this journey with you. They have to sacrifice something. And it's it's the money. It's the facade of being happy. It's being in this family. It's whatever they've committed themselves to. If they want true happiness, they have to be willing to, to give this up. And this has been the problem. But the Seven of Pentacles is here. So this is saying that this person really may be considering putting in the work now with the Ace of Cups here. What someone needs to understand is that if they are concerned about losing money, when you are in this high, high frequency and vibration of true love, you're going to manifest wealth and success. This person doesn't want to give up some type of luxurious lifestyle that they have. But if they were truly in love, the two of you, you could build that together. Because you're not wanting for anything. The Ace of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles is here. You love yourself. You're an empress, a high priestess. You're already enjoying the fruits of your labor. So it's not like you would take anything away from this person. It could have been their fear, but here you have the three of cups and the high priestess. This looks to be a really good outcome. The three of swords is here. And the page of pentacles. Someone here has learned a lot about love after suffering some type of loss or a breakup. There's been a lot of personal growth here and development. So you can expect like good news here in the seven of wands. Someone is really going to stand up. Someone may have to admit the truth to you though, like I said, about a situation that they are dealing with or something that they've done that could have betrayed you in some way. But this 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 truth is going to free this person, the sun, yeah, and then the ace of pentacles and the lovers, six of swords. The Knight of Cups and Judgment Renewal. Six of Pentacles, the Dreamer. Wow. So, I mean, yeah, for some of you, this is going to be a very positive outcome in this situation. The High Priestess is here. The High Priestess, like, this is something that's already written. And you're just going to have to trust your intuition. I don't really see... You don't see when this is coming or how it's coming but i you have to feel it you and this person have a very psychic intuitive connection the two of you are sort of um opening each other lotus flower bomb so what I, i've heard lotus flower bomb run to you this person wants to run to you they want you to heal them or you both of you you're healing for one another I just heard, who can I run to? Somebody here is going through a lot in a situation. I don't feel like you. I don't think it's you. I feel like it's this other person. But this person, they have to make a choice between love and abundance. It's all about money in one situation. In another situation, it's all about true joy. This person is going to have to ask themselves, what is what does it really mean to be successful? Is being successful just being well off financially or is being successful having joy and peace, good health, prosperity, having, you know, a, a spiritual connection? With a God ordained spouse, like someone here is looking at this situation now 
And with renewal here, that's the same as judgment. This person is assessing and evaluating a situation and going through an awakening. This leading this person now to wanting to find balance in a relationship with the Knight of Cups here and come in and make an offer where the two of you can move on to peaceful karma waters with the Six of Swords. This person, it looks like they're choosing happiness and peace. And the Fool card, this is a new star. It's taking a leap of faith in the Six of Pentacles. Something here is unexpected. But this person, they want to share whatever they have with you. They want to share their good fortune with you. For some of you, this is someone from your past. You're very guarded when it comes to this person. But for some of you, this person, they're coming in and they truly have changed. Like, they want to give you the world. Queen of Wands. <laughs> this is the placeholder coming out. Whoa. Whoa. You have the Queen of Wands and the Empress who just came out together. Wow. Okay. So this person could definitely be married to this um, placeholder person or um, have kids with this person. So I just have the Queen. Wow. Look, I just want you to see this. <laughs> you have the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands and the Empress is right here in the middle. And this is how the cards fell out. In between these two people is a divine feminine. It's your energy here. I don't feel like a lot of you are, for some of you, you don't talk to this person or communicate with this person. Or for some of you, it is just a strictly platonic type of friendship or relationship. But you're, you're in the middle of these two people. Yeah. The King of Swords with the Ace of Wands. This part, this this masculine is making a decision. This masculine now, like they've had to go within and they've been deliberating and assessing and evaluating. And this person is they know the truth. They know that your energy is is far too grand for them to let it go. And I feel like this person now with the Ace of Wands, they're going to take action towards you. It's going to be a very bold move. But right now, this person with the Three of Wands, they're planning for something long term here. This person knows what you deserve. Wow. The Two of Cups just fell out. They know that they have to be willing to come towards you to give you equal give and take. They have to be willing to do everything for you. And look at this. You have one, two, three. Something here is aligning. The reading that I had earlier today, all of the numbers were just perfectly aligned the same way. One, two, three. This is all lining up perfectly. Yeah, the world, because there's a cycle here that's over. Something, there's a lesson that has been learned. So that means that someone is now finally moving into like some type of spiritual enlightenment, um, a higher level of consciousness and awareness. Where someone now, they can free themselves. They're coming out of the matrix. You're the red pill in the matrix for this person. They didn't see you coming. For some of you, like I said, this is someone fairly new in your life. When they cross paths with you, everything changed. Yeah, because you're the queen of cups. You love this person out of, and it, it broke their ego. Yep. This person is taking action towards you. This person was in an illusion of being trapped. Stuck in the matrix. You're the red pill in the matrix. Whatever you said to this person, show this person or just your energy. Um, this compassionate, loving, psychic, intuitive like energy that you carry. This person was in some type of, they were in a much lower vibrational type of energy here. The ego will be the devil. So this person has some type of toxic traits. Somehow you made this person aware of this. But I don't think that you was trying to make this person aware of anything because you wanted to be in a relationship with them or you were trying to call them back in it's just your energy it has inspired this person to choose love and happiness but again there is something here about this person 
wanting to protect you. This person, they don't want you to be seen as a bad person because they're in love with you. This person is actually trying to like protect your honor. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. This person is is planning. Like I said earlier, we saw that here is the Seven of Swords right here. So Spirit is confirming that this deceptive type of energy that you feel is not all negative. This person is planning to come towards you. The Knight of Pentacles, they're, they're taking a methodical and practical approach to coming towards you because they actually want to make sure that the two of you, like they want you to grow old together. This person wants to be committed to you, like fully committed to you. And the King of Swords being here and the Hermit, this person is going with Anne right now and they're healing. They're tapping into their, their shadow side. Like they're soul searching and they're coming into some type of clarity and awareness that they are tired of working with this placeholder energy because it's heartbreaking. It's painful. They don't want to be there. This person wants to take a leap of faith now to pursue their destiny. The star is here. So they have to be very bold and courageous. Yeah, this person is going to find the strength to make you an offer. For some of you, they have to win you back for some, some reason. If they weren't honest with you before, they want to be honest with you now. So you're relaxing. You're relaxing. It's something about your peace that this person is very drawn to because they're in a loveless, unhappy relationship somewhere else. They're very unhappy. And whenever they come around you, they talk to you or they see you, they always see you in perfect peace and harmony. They always see you creating. They know that you're fertile. You're very abundant. You're full of ideas. So, yeah, this person, something is possibly going to move forward here in this Sagittarius season where this person, they want to ensure that there is peace, balance, and harmony here. This person also, they're dealing with a real, like, immature um controlling pessimistic type of person and i'm not just trying to make it seem like the other person is a bad person but because i don't sense that i don't feel like the other person is a bad person but i do feel like this person is in a karmic relationship that has ran its its course and the person that they are with is very childish i feel like the two of them they argue a lot because now that this person has met you or you've met this person this person is shifting and changing and they're not, they're just not a match for that other person anymore. So it's causing a lot of conflict and confrontation. This person, their awakening now has them on the fast track of wanting to move towards you to manifest a new life because they can see clearly. This person, you're the red pill in the matrix. That's all I keep hearing. The illusion is it's broken it's gone they they don't feel trapped at all in this situation they don't this person is actually very <laughs> eager now to pursue not just you but just a new life i'm just hearing somebody just say i, I can't keep doing this they're playing along to get along. They, they're tired of doing that. It has become exhausting. Getting to know each other. So for some of you, you're getting to know this person. But religious factors, you're not in the same place or you weren't at some point spiritually. One of you was a bit more awakened and aware than the other. And while you were getting to know each other, this person, they started to, re they went through a spiritual awakening. As this person, like I said, as, as they started to get to know you and you started to reveal more of yourself to this person, I feel like you probably detached because of the situation this person was in. Now, this person may not have told you right away that they were married or in a committed relationship because they didn't expect for this to go as far as it did. For a lot of you, this hasn't gone far, but this person didn't expect to fall for you the way that they did. For some of you, this is like love at first sight. This is your soulmate. Wow. <laughs> Wedding. I told you, this person, they want to marry you. 
they could be married right now and they i promise you they're dreaming and fantasizing about being in a very committed relationship with you and they're going through an awakening right now and by the time they get through this awakening this person is going to be very clear about the fact that they want to be in a long-term committed relationship with you that could lead to marriage seriously wow finances and career i told you give your relationship a chance and here's codependency everything i said earlier this person right now is in a connection because of finances and, and career they work with this person they're afraid to lose money okay the other person could be codependent on them financially they could be codependent they're in a codependent relationship but you're this person's true love but the signs are cautioning you you may be a little bit hesitant to express yourself to this person to express that you want the relationship to go to the next level because you know that they're in something else i just feel that a lot of you once you figured out that this person was in an, another situation that they couldn't be fully committed you just separated yourself and so now this person they're trying to free themselves for from a situation because they want you to feel like it's safe to love them this person will they really really want you to express yourself but you're a divine feminine you're a high priest or high priestess you're not going to express yourself to this person while they're in some type of commitment like it's for you i feel like it's all or nothing and this person they know that And the more that this person grows spiritually, the more they respect the reason why you are withholding your energy. They respect you for that. They respect the fact that you, you play really hard to get. I mean, of course, they don't like boundaries, but they can respect it. They have no other choice. I feel like this is a situation where this person, they're choosing you. I don't feel like they chose the other person. I feel like something happened. It was a codependent relationship. They could have gotten together because of children or someone was having financial issues or something like that. They didn't get together because of love. They just kind of fell into that situation. But with you they're choosing you like this person is choose they're choosing that they want to do life with you you have put away the computer and play hard see this person with you it's all about fun they get to flirt they get to feel childlike it's not all about work with you this person they feel nurtured they feel cared for Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. Some distance will help bring clarity. You and this person may not be talking or talking as much yet because you put boundaries up in this situation. But I, I feel like if you and this person have shared things, fun times together, they feel so much regret now because they really miss you. <laughs> this This person is really missing you. And they're very regretful because I feel like this person wanted you to be patient. And this person, they tried. They they tried to put you in some type of strictly sexual relationship. And I feel like they wanted you to wait. Because there's a third party situation here in children. You have support and marriage here. This relationship is moving towards a sacred union and everything happens for a reason. You know, I'm I'm not here to say wait on anyone or oh uh, i don't know <sighs> this is one of those things like i said it's different for everyone to me i could kind of go along with this that this is someone that you haven't really crossed the lines with and there's someone knowing your life but i would just say for those of you where you know you have in a way been waiting on a person and they've been in a relationship with someone else for a long time just be careful that they're not leaving one codependent relationship and coming towards you to latch on to you for more codependency because 
you're in this high vibing energy. This is something where you have to use a lot of discernment for a lot of you. I do sense that this person, they love you. They adore you. Um, they really do respect you. They're going through a spiritual awakening. But again, it just depends on where you are in your timeline. Um, people do change. So you can't, I'm, as a reader, I'm not going to say that a person from your past, oh my gosh, there's no way that they can change. But you have to be discerning and judge that for yourself. And for some of you, again, you have a situation where it was fairly casual. And it could have been a third party situation. This person may be ready and willing now to like pretty much change their life and, and offer you a commitment. But, you know, you just have to be mindful of how you go into a new situation and the karma that is carried with that. Um, it just depends, you guys, where you are um, in your journey. It's kind of tricky because you can't say that, um, just go new because you can meet a brand new person that could be at the tail end of a divorce who really is in love with you, you know, and, and I am kind of seeing a situation like that where for some of you, you have met someone or you will meet a person in the future. And that person, they, they'll be coming out of us a, a long-term committed relationship and a divorce. And we're all adults here. You know, oftentimes it's not always a clean break from a person that you have a lot of history with. You're sharing assets, liabilities, children, mutual friends. It's a, it's sort of a situation like that. It doesn't have to be bad. It doesn't have to be messy. So you, you'll just have to ask yourself, you know, what kind of boundaries are needed and what do you have to what do you have to gain and what do you have to lose because you can absolutely meet a person that's you know in the middle of a divorce or recently divorced and they could be head over heels in love with you and it can work out but i would just say be very tricky of dealing with the people who will try to come back into your life or come into your life and they're trying to have their cake and eat it too. They're trying to feed off of your energy, your divine energy, while they still maintain a, a connection with a karmic person. But from what I've heard is, again, you being the red pill in the matrix, for some of you, you have really inspired a person to want to leave their old life completely behind. Okay, so... This reading to me, it does feel very positive. Um, I'm I don't pick up reason for a lot of concern about the energy that I'm channeling right now. I feel like it is safe for you to express yourself with this person, but you do need to have firm boundaries. You know, I wouldn't say, like I said, get fully invested with this person until they can commit to you. It just seems like this situation, it could start out a little bit rocky, but this person, what I will respect about this person is that they are being very methodical in their approach and the way that they are planning. From the very beginning, when I started this reading and I saw the Seven of Swords, I wasn't getting just a lot of sneaky, deceptive type of behavior. I was getting more plotting and planning, okay? And I'm also sensing where this person they're pursuing you in a certain way for your own protection because they do have someone that's watching them and trying to monitor them at this time. And that could be due to the kids, you know, someone could be trying to, you know, build some type of false case or, or statement against this person, especially if they have children with someone just to, you know, complicate things for them. And they're just trying to make sure that everyone is happy. I don't really care for the people pleasing behavior from from any adult. But this person, I do sense that this is someone who has a lot to lose. Um, they're not only come. They're not just you know trying to get out of a situation either because of you. But this person, they do feel like if they leave one situation. If they would ever fall in love with someone again, it you're you're the dream ideal person. 
Like, if you're available, they wouldn't look any further. And that's the truth. 